Hello everyone. I hope today finds you well. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm popping by to showcase my my new release. Now my desk, you'll have to excuse my desk, it's in such a mess that uh, I've got stuff absolutely everywhere. But what I want to do, like I always do when I have a new release, is come by and show you the stamps in detail. I also like to offer some inspiration with the stamps. So I've actually got some samples made. It actually took me longer because I also created a workshop at the same time. So the stamps are actually available on Create and Craft now. I will... When I actually add this post to Facebook, I'll add the link so that you can go direct to the stamps. And the actual one day special bundle is available now for you to purchase. So the price that it's going to be on Monday when the show airs is exactly the price it is now. And you still get the free gift, whether you buy now or whether you buy Monday. So there is a free gift with purchase. I've created a little free workshop, creating a little project with the stamps uh, just to offer even more inspiration for you so i hope you enjoy that to those of you that have already purchased the stamps a huge thank you as a designer it's it's very difficult to put into words how important it is um, without your support i wouldn't be here so i truly appreciate any of the purchases so thank you very much i also appreciate the comments the comments the likes the shares so when you share a video or when you share a post or when you like a post, um, it means that obviously we spread the word and it means obviously I stay in business longer because this is what I do for a living. So thank you very much. Without you, I wouldn't be here. So I'm going to start with the stamp sets and I'm going to start with the A7 stamp sets. Now, I spent a great deal of time on these. And these A7 stamp sets for me really pack a punch. So we've got stamp set 901. We've got stamp set 902. Well, that wasn't in order then, was it? And 900. So 900, 901 and 902. Now, when I design stamps, they're meant to be used all year round. So it doesn't matter that you use a heart at Valentine's. That isn't why I've created a heart. I've created a heart shape because it's one of the shapes I absolutely adore. I adore circles and I adore hearts. It's something about those shapes that I find very appealing, very easy to use and very easy to add to other subject matter. So this image here, for instance, if I've got my cyclamen that I've got cut out here, which is one of the stamps, it when you place it against these images, it works beautifully. So these in the background with the sickleman in the foreground, the A with the sickleman in the foreground, I know it's difficult to see with the white on white, but they work beautifully together. So the idea is that these shapes are beautiful and work seamlessly with the whole of my range, which is very important to me. This A here also, I'll grab it is also designed to work with my previous release which we can't get out which is stamp set 832 blousy blooms so this stamp set here works beautifully with this image here which was the whole point the idea is i'm trying to extend your library so that you use it over and over again it's important for me personally that my stamps aren't left on the shelf to gather dust. It really is important. So what do we have? If we stamp, if we start with stamp set 900, there's no point looking at the plastic because it's well used. If we look at stamp set 900, there's a great lot of detail in here and it's so usable. And it's got text here. It's got this beautiful heart, which in fact you could just ink the outside edge, nothing on the inside, and just have like the shadow of the heart just as the outside edge. 
you can use the bird on its own, the heart on its own. So it's very, very usable. I adore that it's got the little birds inside, which I've done many times before. You've seen me do my pheasants where I add images inside images. I've done that for many years. So it's also a random shape heart, which was important to me because I didn't want it to just be pretty standard. So what I'm going to do, this is an A7 stamp set. So I'm going to measure, Abs loves this tape measure because it's huge, so he laughs at me. So the actual stamp itself is almost touching two and three quarters in width and three and three quarter inches in length. So almost two and three quarters in width and three and three quarters in length. Now the heart itself, the actual heart itself is about two inches in width and at the longest point, which is very difficult to measure, which is almost three and a half because it's almost the full length of the stamp. It's just got beautiful detail and it coordinates with my A4 stamp that's got some beards on. Um, just trying to think of the number. Let me see if I can reach that like we do. Let me just see. So this, this all coordinates with this A4 stamp set, Friendship Florals, which also extends another stamp set. And as you see, I've done image within image. Let's just place that back. So just a beautiful, versatile image. And then when I was designing, I was thinking, well, it'd be lovely if you can only afford A7 stamps to add another A7 stamp that can work together. Because then if you can only afford them two, they work beautifully together because you can chop bits up so it works beautifully. Again, the stamp set will measure the same size, the actual stamp set as the previous one. But if you want to know the size of the actual elements, the little bird which is very difficult to measure. The little beard is two and a quarter inches from here to this point here. And the, the B is almost two inches, that. So just so that you get an idea of, you know, you, you've got the perspective you can see. And I also like to add different sizes so that you can create beautiful compositions. Me personally, I'm not a fan of just doing all my stamps one size. So I don't want them all huge. I don't want them all tiny. I want a mix and a flow so that when you create your compositions, you get a beautiful composition. So let's just, this stamp set again, I've tried to pack in as much as I can. And this stamp set has got a lot on there. It's got fly three, free, bird, bird. It's got the alphabets. It's got the text. And when you see my samples, you'll see how I was inspired. The minute I started stamping these, I was inspired. What I would recommend that you do is stamp your stamps out and cut a whole pile. Because trust me, I did this. I just cut these out. And I was totally inspired, just cutting them out. Totally inspired. Now, this one, I also adore. Stamp set 902. So, 900 is called Ornithology. 901 is called Bird and Bee. And 902 is called Art 360. And again, the stamp itself will measure the same as the first one. But the actual A element, the actual circular element is two and a half inches, just so that you get the idea of what the circular piece here, that's two and a half inches. And it's best if we look at the packaging because I've used them so much. And we've got numbers in here. We've got this compass that echoes the compass in the blousy blooms. And we've got some words and some text and the compass echoed in the center here. A stunning design that works beautifully as a background and a focal image and works with so many other images. The stag image looks fantastic with this. So there's so many images that work, they work with. So if we place those all back, I think when you see the samples, 
they will speak to you a little more, hopefully. So let's just move these out of the way. And just while I move those out of the way, let's talk about the shows. So the first show is Monday, which is Monday coming, the 6th of Feb at 6pm. The next show is 9pm on the Monday. And then the next day, the Tuesday, the 7th of Feb, the shows are 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. But as I say, you can actually purchase the bundle and the singles now, this minute. What I'm going to do then is go to an A6 stamp set. Now, when I created my, let's grab them. Would you believe it's never the one that you go to straight away? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? I must have a stamp set out somewhere. This is the problem when you have stamps set out, you've got them all over the place. There we go. So, when I designed this stamp set which is the tagged alphabet the minute that went on the show on creating craft a few people emailed in and said they would like numbers so i'm happy to oblige so i'm happy to oblige and i have created some little tags with numbers and while i was there i thought why not create a couple of tags with the florals and also something coming in the future will coordinate with these. We've got the cyclamen here that coordinates beautifully with our cyclamen stamp. And I've got one here that's just got text in, just beautiful. And these little number stamps, they're gorgeous. So you can create a background with them or just use them as is. So they are, hmm, about three quarters of an inch in length there. And the ones with the florals in are one and a quarter inches. So three quarters of an inch, one and a quarter inches. And these are stunning for embellishing your cards as well. We've got the words botanical, the great outdoors. Now, because Tracy likes to cram in as much as possible so that you get your money's worth, the botanical and the great outdoors are connected. So if you want to cut them apart, you can. I just stamp them as is and cut up. We've also got the word specimen and also sending special witch wishes your way, which I've made a little bit smaller because I like tucking in little bits into my compositions. And for me, it's very important that you've got that contrast in size, shape and form and texts and fonts. So just beautiful, a beautiful stamp set and it, they work really well together and beautiful for embellishing pieces. But what you need to remember is these will all also work as backgrounds. Now, I've created a workshop with these stamps. And with this workshop, I could have gone on for three months adding to the workshop. There's just, the ideas were flowing, but I just don't have enough hours in the day to keep doing them. I've all, I already stayed up all night one night creating samples because the, the, the ideas kept flowing, but there just isn't enough hours in the day <laughs> to just fit them all in. But as you know, I will continue with inspiration throughout the year. So that is our A6 stamp set and this is called Garden Mix Tagged and it's stamp set 899. Adore that one. I just love these. So let's just place that back in my wallet because then I just don't lose any bits and pieces. And hopefully when you see the samples, as I said before, hopefully they will inspire more. We've then got the A6 Cyclamen stamp. And here in the UK, we've got indoor Cyclamen and outdoor Cyclamen. And obviously everything I do or draw is my interpretation. It's not botanically correct, it's my interpretation. It's my quirky take on it. It's my scribbly doodles on it. And it's also 
the way I like to use product in my projects. I want them not to be too oh, too regimented. I want you to feel free when you're actually designing with them. So what we've got is we've got a beautiful C here that's got some words in there, Cyclamen Woodland, and it's very tatty, which is the way I've made it. And there's a little Cyclamen in there, but you can use the C on its own as well, as you will see that I've done. And we also have this beautiful Cyclamen image. We have the words Cyclamen Woodland, hello, just a note and just for you and limited edition and they're all in different size different sizes of the font just so that it gives you that composition the actual c is the actual c itself without the text is just three and a quarter no it's not quite three and a quarter it's just less than three and a quarter the actual c itself excluding the text going up to here so just the sea itself, it's beautiful. The cyclamen from top to bottom is three and a half inches. So a really good size. But again, I'm thinking about composition. I'm thinking about how you use them in journals and cards. So it works beautifully with that size. So it works really nicely. So I don't want to keep you too long on the video, but I want to spend a little bit more time on the samples because I think then they will speak to you a little more. So this is stamp set 898, see you soon, because as I often say, I often, I often say it to my plants, when they, they die back, I always say, see you soon. I can't wait to see them the following season. So that's our A6 stamp set. So let's just place them back. And then I've gone to the A5 stamp sets. One I'm actually missing, bear with me. So then I've gone to the A5 stamp sets. So first of all, we've got Daily Gift. And this is an A5 stamp set. And this is a very classy image when it's stamped and it's meant to represent any type of bell flower that you have in your garden so if you've got white bells you've got hair bells it's meant to represent that in some form that you've got in your garden and i just love that that shape that it's got but it's quite it's quite a substantial stamp this one let me just remove that just peel away your stamps, peel away the acetate, don't stretch your stamps and peel them away. Hold your acetate down and you can just peel them. You don't need to stretch them, just peel them away. Don't stretch the polymer. And what you've got, let's turn that the right way, is a really good, good size image. Now this image, because I've just placed it onto the other piece of acetate, which is not good, Tracy. So let's just move that off there. So this image from top to bottom, I'll pick the round about the tallest piece, is just over four and a quarter inches that way. And wide, at the widest point, it's over four inches. So at the widest point, it's coming up to, yes, it's over four inches. And the tallest point, it's co coming up to mm, four and a half inches. So a really good, substantial sized image and very classy when it's stamped. You've also got a circular image here that is gorgeous as a background and also adding little touches. And we've got the same flowers just around here, different sizes. So this image is, so what I'll do is I'll measure the circle first. The circle is actually two and a quarter inches, but with the flowers at the widest point, it's over three inches. So the circle, two and a quarter, and at the widest point, over three inches with the flowers. 
and that creates a beautiful backdrop. We've got little bells here that it says there. We've got choose to shine and each day is a gift. And isn't that right? To write each day is a gift. So this is an A5 stamp set. It's called Daily Gift and it's stamp set 897. So let's just place that in here. I do not know where the time goes when I'm doing these videos. Right. We've then got the last A5 stamp set and boy, does this pack a punch. So these are meant to be used all year round, in the background, in the foreground, wherever. And I am super chuffed with the florals and the way they've come out. And this set packs a punch. We've got the great outdoors. We've got cherish here, just hidden in there. Heart, love, daisy, garden, nature's beauty, which I absolutely love. But let's have a look at the sizes, which you're not going to see very well because they're super inked. All right. but let's have a look at these sizes. Let's just peel one of these away so you can see the detail. Let me just place that down on there just so that you can see. Let's bring this in just so that you can see the detail on that stamp. So the middle heart from the tallest point to the point at the bottom is five and a half inches. Five and a half inches, that is. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set. Five and a half inches, the middle heart. This heart with the wild cone flower, corn flower, is five and a quarter inches. So that's five and a quarter inches at the tallest point. And this one at the tallest point is around about four and a half. So very substantial, substantial stamps. But they really pack a wow factor. They really do pack a wow factor for me. Just absolutely adore them. I, I, I will be using them. I will be using all this release so much. Right, let's just grab this. So, with every sample that I show you now, just trying to find... Where's the sample I did? Oh, I think that's downstairs. So, with any purchase, you get a free gift from me which is a little workshop to create a card, just as a thank you for purchasing. Let's just grab my cards. I'm just going to grab my cards and try and place them on one side so that we discuss one at a time. Right, so all these, work, all these cards are on a workshop they're on a workshop it's work it's workshop 89 and it's 35 pounds now in this workshop i have crammed the content it is full of content and it's 35 pounds and for me it, it's wonderful value i've spent so much time creating this workshop what you do first is you create lots of backgrounds in the workshop so you're going to be creating loads of backgrounds, absolutely loads and loads of backgrounds, which I'm going to use in my future card projects to inspire you more. So there's just loads of backgrounds and you create all these backgrounds in the workshop. So you create them all in the workshop. I haven't created a card with every background because I want you to have some backgrounds that you play with. But we've created loads of backgrounds for you to use in your projects. And some I've actually used. 
So that's part of your workshop. You create those backgrounds and you create every card that I'm showing you now. And these cards are all transferable to a journal page for every single one of them. And so are the backgrounds. So this is our first card. And I just adore this. It's got that beautiful cyclamen on there. But can you see the C in the background here? It's got the beautiful C in the background. I also had to incorporate my little mouse and my little tickets, my little ticket stamp, because I just think that's beautiful. Let me just get that. So the little ticket stamp is stamps, it's tickets and it's stamp set 757. And I just think these little tickets work beautifully with the whole range. So they work rather beautifully. But also I've used my uh, miniatures, stamp set 756 with the hairs to add the text in the background. But just so you can see that what we create in the workshop. So the workshop is £35 and I'll add my email into the description. But just so that you can see just the detail. I want to go through a little bit more detail with the samples because I think that's what gives the inspiration. And this cyclamen more than inspired me. Just absolutely adore it. So then we use the bird. So if I go a little bit closer, you can see that bird from the heart stamp, which is, let me just grab the stamp sets, which is this stamp set here. Can you see? Which is that stamp set there, which is in the bundle. But you can see those beautiful samples, which will be posted throughout the weeks just to give you a reminder, but just adore, absolutely adore the imagery. And again, you create all these in the workshop. Just absolutely adore them. But then, what if you want to change the cyclamen a little bit? So again, We've used, can you see we've used part of that A stamp, that Art360. We've used the C. We've used the cyclamen. We've used the little tag. And we've used the bird. But we've split them all up. So it looks completely different to the previous one. It just looks completely different. But these make stunning little embellishments and I think seeing the video with the samples just really makes the stamps speak to you makes makes the stamps sing absolutely adore them so let's go to the art 360 so that you can see just the detail just so you can see the detail in the card. And I've used the little bird again with the art stamp, just so you can see a little bit. I think turning the card just helps you see some of the detail in those cards, just so you can see them. And I think it's important just to spend a little time on the samples so that you can appreciate where the stamps can take you. So let's have a look. So do you remember this stamp? Where are we? Let's grab. Oh. Remember this stamp here? And I said to you, you can split things up. You don't have to use the heart. You can also use just parts of the stamp. And that reminds me of China. And it's very classy. 
and it's just i love that sentiment nature's beauty nice simple card but you've not used the heart it just looks completely different i just adore it absolutely adore that and it just gives a little bit of dimension there on the beard so just keeping that just trying to appeal to everybody in the workshops you know just so you get a huge variety of projects which one shall we do next right. okay so you've seen that one with the flowers from the heart and it here is the heart itself just so that you can see this is the the heart itself just so you can see if i just tilt because you can see if i tilt and move the card you can see the colors the depth of color just so that you can see all of the detail and the backgrounds are just great fun to create and I hope the cards inspire you so that you can see the full potential of the stamps. Just adore those. Right, what shall I do next? Right. Let's have a look. You know the stamp set I said to you is very classy. So this is our daily gift. Stamp set 897. When I said to you it was really classy. He's a totally different card, but again, used with my previous release, but such a classy, classy image. Just adore that. I just think it's super classy. And I've tried to give different feels and looks to each card, which you can absolutely use in your journals so just so that you can see that but then what if you wanted to change this image because i've only used part of it there but what if you wanted to change this image completely how about using it this way and it's going to be used a lot like this where it's like an umbiliferous flower with something sitting underneath I'm rather taken with that. So that's just using part of it. This is using part of it. Just to give you a different idea. And I think they are super classy. But this idea, I'm rather taken with. So I really, really just love that. Rather taken with that one. Now, what if you want to make the cyclamen look a different again? So here we have a totally different card. So part of the cyclamen is away from the card. Can you see we've got that little hair as well? We've got a lovely little hair in there because those are your little embellishments. They work beautifully. So we've just got, and if we open this up, you've got part of the cyclamen on the inside of your card just so if i do these at different angles just so that you can see what we've created just so that you can see that and i think a video gives better representation than maybe a photograph then what if you want to use the cyclamen with the other stamps how about using the a b c as an alphabet a b c nothing to do with the other stamps that they've been created so you can use it as an alphabet how about using it as an alphabet and then incorporating your cyclamen with your little tag and of course incorporating that gorgeous little mouse i think that's stamp set 811 so just a beautiful A7 stamp this is. I love this little mouse, but works beautiful with everything else. Sending special wishes your day. And 
I create small and large sizes because it helps with this composition. And I just adore, absolutely adore. I was so happy with the way the cards came out. Again, all on your workshop 89. Which one shall we do next? I think we've just got one card left before we have a little a little chat. So my final card is this card and you create all these backgrounds in the workshop just so that you can see the detail. So you can pair it back, you can add layers, you can add as much but literally how many cards have I done I've done one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven cards plus I've created you a freebie and you've got all these backgrounds let me just and you've got all these backgrounds in the workshop and I'm telling you, I haven't even touched the surface with these stamps. But these have taken me a long, long time to create because I don't rush the projects. But that one looks totally different to that one. Just totally different. So all those are on your Workshop 89. Workshop 89 at £35. Now... If you want to create simple projects, just add a touch of colour. Just add a touch of colour. You don't even need anything else. A little sentiment and it's absolutely done. But these stamp sets I felt really inspired by. You know, I've enjoyed. I mean, I, I love all my stamp sets. That's why I designed them. Um, but some stamp sets, the more you start to use them, the more they start to speak to you and I think that was the case with this selection the more I used them the more I was inspired to use them and I'm hoping that you feel exactly the same as well so let's just move those out of the way move those out of the way I just adore the con the, you know the difference between just doing different things with your stamps. Stamps are so, so versatile. Right, let's just place this. My, I'm just trying to place my cards. Okay, so let's, let's bring in my iPad. Let's just go to uh, Create and Craft. So I'm using my browser. And if I go to create and craft, you can add the TV schedule. And when you come to the day on Monday, which is when my one day special is, you come to the Monday the 6th. Let's just get rid of that. And you can see me here, all and create Tracy Evans one day special. And if you click in this show, you can see what's in this show. There's my bundle of all the stamps and the individuals. And the actual bundle is at the one day special pr bundle price. And if I bring up the photo, let me just grab my photos. Where we go. Here is a, some snippets of the photo of the project that you're going to create in the freebie workshop. This is the freebie that you're getting with purchase. So I hope you enjoy that. I can't wait to see your creations and your interpretations. So I hope you enjoy that. So if you'd like to join the workshop, if you email me uh, and then we can sort out all the details. Um, I'll add the email um, to my description. And just as a reminder, the first show is at 6 p.m. for my one day special. And once again, thank you very much for all of your support and for those of you that have purchased already. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to Janet Pring for actually going to the studios and showcasing my designs and to the design team for their hard work. 
and also to Abs and All and Create for having faith in my designs. So love to all and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.